it's Kathy Cress again, and I am back with my YouTube channel, Geriatric Care One, and we are doing starting a geriatric care management business. How do you do it? And we are now on episode 12 in the playlist. And how do you do it? Well, first of all, you have to have competence. You just can't be anybody and start a geriatric care management business. There is this wonderful benchmarking study that just came out. I just got it at the mm -hmm. National Conference in uh, Nashville. And I have the link for this on May 21st blog on my website. You can find it. Mm -hmm. And what it says is uh, the 10 things that set a practice report apart, a geriatric care management pro practice, why the customer would choose you. Uh, number one is care management experience. That's what I mean about competence, that you, you need experience. And uh, number two is education and training. So, either you hire someone, you're a business professional, and you want to start a geriatric care management business, you can hire someone with the education and the experience, number one and number two, to choose you, or you have to be that person. Um, and how do you get that education? Well, you get it, there are many, many ways. Uh, my blog, May 21st, will give you all the programs that I like, and there's other programs too, and it's not that I don't like them, but I like these three online. And one is Misericordia, I've worked with them there in Pennsylvania, and uh, the gentleman who teaches there is really good. Uh, and they have an online program. It's affiliated with Temple University as well. The other is the University of Florida's online program, and you will actually hear me uh, because <laughs> I was pre-recorded. I'm not there anymore, but you'll hear me. And they use my book, as Ms. Recordia does as well, Handbook of Geriatric Care Management. Hmm. Um, and they also use, uh, Florida uses, they have a great class uh, in and not a lot of online or any kind of programs have this. Care Managers Working with the Aging Family is a great book. And um, uh, there's a whole class on uh, working with families at Florida that I really, really like. Kaplan has an online program. Again, the link is on my May 21st blog. And the University of Missouri just started one. And it looks really good to me. Uh, so I'm not, you know. I'm not, you know, I'm not representing any of these. Uh, programs with certificates, and you really need to take these in the classroom. Boston University has a great one uh, through their School of Social Welfare, and I like it because it's got a care transitions class. I think that's fabulous because that's what you need, because your client moves, transitions, you know, up and down, but mostly up. Um, the ADL disability scale. So I really like that. University of Florida, I've already talked about that. You can hear me. Mm. I actually had pneumonia when I was teaching. <laughs> I didn't know it. I didn't know I broke my wrist. I don't know what this is about me, but uh, it was undiagnosed, and so you hear me <laughs> coughing a lot. USC, which is the best aging program in the entire world, mm. Andrus, I must say my daughter went there. Um, just started a geriatric care and management program. I don't. Th I think it's going to roll out next year. Uh, Dr. Deborah Newquist, who is my partner in CHN Associates, is uh, teaching in this program, and I actually helped her design that. And Steve Barlam, who's an excellent geriatric care manager, who is the uh, head professional director of Live Home which is a national company, is going to be teaching with Deb. And they, uh, USC's in L.A. Andrus is fabulous, and you can take a class there. And they're actually masters in geriatric care mm -hmm. management. And one is Florida, and I've already talked about that. And the other is the University of Utah actually has a care management um, masters in nursing. Mm -hmm. And I've worked with them. They're a really good program. But you can get a master's in gerontology in any, in any school all over. I mean, there's just tons of them all over the country. And you can do your dissertation in geriatric care management because I've taken on people and, and supervised them. So, I mean, for instance, I went to the University of California, Berkeley. You know, I just went and then I said, oh, I'll do planning. So I have a degree in planning and administration. And then 
actually, I got interested in geriatric care management, so uh, my expertise is in that, but I have a master's in, in, in social work, actually. So, you know, schools will let you do this. I will see you next time. We will do episode 12. Always go to my website, kathycrest.com, and I will actually, on May 29th, have a blog that will give you a listing of all the schools in aging in California. I can't give you every, and these are all the schools in aging. I can't give you the whole country, but I will give you California at least on May 29th, so read the blog then. Thank you very much. See you next time.